Haleluya. Haleluya. Let's rise up and begin to thank him because of this year 2020 that is already going. Let's appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. The God that loves human beings has taken us through this year 2020. And now we are soon entering into another year. We are entering into a new year in a in very, very short time. Give time. What the Lord has done for us. What the Lord has done in our lives. What the Lord has done in the nations of the world. We must thank him. We must praise him. We must adore him. In everything give thanks. Was it well with you? In 2020, thank the Lord. Was it not well with you? In 2020, thank the Lord. All together, he has brought us out of it. And is taking us to the new year. We are grateful. We bless you, Lord. We worship the Lord. Amen. To God be the glory, great things he had done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son who yielded his life and atonement for sin and opened the life get that all may go in praise the lord praise the lord let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son. And open the glory. Great things he has. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, through Jesus the Son, and give him the Let's 
give him the glory. Great things he has done in our lives, in the lives of men on earth. Let's praise him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly One. Thank you. We are your children gathered before you, rejoicing. Believing in you, you are true, you are faithful, you are dependable, great is our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, great is the God that we serve, which is you. We give thanks to you for opening our understanding to know you. We're so happy that you have made us children so we may fellowship with you. Thank you for making us to partake in Christ. Thank you for making us to be saved from our sins. Thank you for giving us your Holy Spirit. We are happy that we are called after your name. We are happy by the joy of the Holy Spirit inside us. Lord, our confidence rests upon you. We know very well that you are with us. We believe the word that you speak unto us. And so, this word you are speaking to us, to your children that believe in you, Father, I trust that they will receive this word. They will hold to it. And at the end of the year before us, they will turn back again and say, God is true. For he has done it. I'm so grateful. Thank you. You are saying the year before us, 2021, is a year of God's deliverance and protection. It's great. Events shall unfold. And we shall say the Lord has said it. We worship. Give a clap offering to Jesus. Let the Lord be worshipped. He is the great God. He is the great God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship. We praise you. Ha. In Jesus' name, we believe. Speak your good word to us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Ha! Ah, the deliverance and protection of the Lord. The deliverance and protection of the Lord. Brother, your deliverance will come. You're entering into the year of your deliverance. Yeah. When I say deliverance, well, it in, does include deliverance from demons, but altogether, I mean the deliverance of the Lord. Wherever you have been hooked up, 
whatever has blocked you on the way you have been standing in a place for long because a power resist resists you and you could not move forward the lord says he is going to send an angel to come and deliver you yes michael said since I mean, gabriel said since you began to pray to the lord the lord heard you and sent me but the prince of patience withheld me in the air for how many days 21 days until the Lord sent Michael the prince Michael the archangel the warrior who came and dispersed them and then I am able now to come with the answer what does that mean the Lord is going to send his agent his angel maybe it could be man, whichever way, to come and remove the roadblock on your way. Yeah. So, the year you are entering into, be, believe God that the roadblock on your way shall be rolled away. Yeah. This is wonderful. Now, not only deliverance, but the protection of the Lord. Protection. Yes, you are hearing names of sicknesses and diseases. You hear of kidnappers. You hear of um, assassins. You, of course, you have seen, witnessed many accidents of life. Of course, people poison one another you have heard about that even some people that die by by poison all this one the lord is saying tell my children i will protect them Amen. you will be protected Amen. in jesus name Amen. it means therefore the assignment that god has given to you that has been standing still because of some what those what shall vanish out of the way Amen. and you will go and achieve for God Amen. what he desires of you in the book of Exodus chapter 3 Exodus chapter 3 I read verse 15 verse 14 to verse 17 and God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. I want you to take this and understand this. I am that I am. <laughs> There's much here. There's much here. I am that I am. Well, that means he is Jehovah. He is by himself. He is by himself. He exists by himself. He has no beginning and no ending. I am that I am. The God of the yesteryears is the same God now and shall remain God in the future. He said, go. In verse 15, And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, 
and the God of Jacob had sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. When I picked up Abraham, he eventually died, but I remained alive. I picked up Isaac. Eventually, Isaac died, but I remain alive. I pick up Jacob, and eventually, Jacob died, but I remain alive. I am the living God. I am the everlasting God. So, he said in verse 16, Go and gather the elders of Israel together and say unto them the Lord God of your fathers the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and of Jacob appeared unto me saying I have surely visited you and seen that which is done to you in Egypt go and tell these people that the God that lives forever said, I have come to you. I have seen your case. I have looked at your situation. I have examined your suffering. I've examined your pain. I've examined the attacks you are passing through. I've examined what evil people do against you. So, I have examined your poverty. I've examined everything. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt unto the land of the Canaanites and of the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, unto a, a land flowing with milk and honey. I have said, God wants you to take his word absolutely. As I told you now, he gave me the word for the new year. I should come and tell you the word for the new year. What plan he has for your life for the new year. He said he is going to deliver you. He said I have said that I'm removing you from that situation. I'm carrying you from there. I am changing your situation. Go and tell them that I appeared unto you. Go and tell them that I sent you unto them. And that this is what. So what am I saying? I'm talking to somebody here. Somebody that is serving the living God. Somebody that is following the living God. Somebody that sees God as his God. For this God shall be my God. The Lord sent me to tell you. He is changing your situation. Amen. I know you will surely testify. Amen. The person that I'm talking to knows himself. The woman I'm talking to knows herself. Because she is serving God. You are following God. And the voice of your shepherd you will hear. Amen. So I'm taking you to another situation. A better situation is coming on your way. Amen. I'm removing you from this suffering you have been into for a long time. I am breaking the power of Satan that has gotten hold of you for a long time. 
I have heard all those dreams and the cry and the tears of your heart, of your eyes. And I'm going to change you and will take you to another situation that you will praise me. And in fact, he said, a land flowing with milk and honey. He said, you know, suppose maybe you were now my that the Lord sent me like this to come and tell her, what's your name? Call me Mara because life is bitter for me. And I came to you. I said, the Almighty sent me. The Creator sent me. The God that allowed you to go to a strange land. The God that allowed your, your husband to die, your two sons to die. The God that allowed your daughter's in-law not to have children. The God that brought you, brought you back home, Bethlehem, with one of your daughter-in-laws by name, daughter's-in-law by name Ruth, has asked me to come and tell you, Naomi, that I'm going to change your situation in the year that is before you. Will you believe? I say, will you believe? Then believe now. Believe now. For it shall happen. Deliverance and protection. Deliverance and protection. What is it if the Lord blesses you but does not protect you? The blessing is meaningless. You got the, you went to the bank and really withdrew a large sum that somebody sent you. But on the way, arm robbers cleared it out. Of what blessing? But the Lord says, listen, I'm going to give you protection. You will not suffer those losses again. They will not, all those attacks will not happen to your life. I am God saying, you should be informed. Look at what he's saying in the book of um, uh, Psalm 1 to 1. Psalm 1 to 1, Psalm 121. He's promising you protection in the year that is coming now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From verse 1 to verse 8. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy food to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Believe him. With these great promises, what does God demand of you? Believe that it shall be so. Believe that God will keep you healthy. Believe God will deliver you from accidents. Believe that God will protect your house. God will protect your shop. God will protect your property. God will protect that which belongs unto you. Do you know why I am saying this? God says I should say it. It happened like that in the life of Job. In the book of Job chapter 1, Satan was going up and down. Satan was moving up and down and came by the house of Job, a servant of God, one that feared God. And then 
in chapter 1 verse 8. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared God and eschewed evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Hast not thou made an hedge about him and about his house? And about all that he had on every side, thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. Can you see? Satan discovered this. And he will, Satan will testify of you that you are, you are protected. Don't be afraid. You shall be protected. A story was told of a man of God, a saint, a righteous man that was traveling, maybe in the old time, past, passing through a lonely place, going, for a, going in a distant journey using a camel. And thieves were pursuing him because he was going with much money. Thieves were pursuing him. But they were following him at a distance because it was in the night. They would, rob, they would rob him. But something happened. When night met this man and he slept, in a way he slept, the thieves would come and see a building round about this man. And that building never had a door. They go round, it is protected. God says... This is going to be what he will do in your life. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will protect you. Don't fear. Why I'm saying this is because it might be you hear everybody running away. In this, in this city, don't bother. It will not come near you. The Lord will keep you. I am saying this because you might be in a place where war may break out. But if you remember this, that the almighty God has said that his eyes will be upon you, his protection will be upon you, you will laugh. Praise the Lord. So, what is it? What is it, brother? What is it, my sister? Since the Lord has, has assured you of this, what you need now is faith. Believe God. It shall be as he has said. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 27, verse 22 to 25. Acts, chapter 27, verse 22. To 25. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the sheep. Now I am speaking this in that people have been dying, your relations, your children, or what? You have been thinking another death is coming. The Lord said, another death is not coming. The dead shall not come again. Yes. Take it like that and believe him. So Paul and others were in the ship going in a journey. And there was a mighty storm in the sea. Great storm. It happened. It was the ship was in jeopardy for many days. People thought they were going to die. People thought their end had come. Maybe that is how you are thinking now. The Lord is saying, I should come and change your thought. The Lord is saying, I should come and tell you a different thing from what you are thinking. That evil thought that Satan has dropped in you that, hey, you are going to die next year. The Lord said, no, next year is the year of life. <laughs> you are going to live. So, don't have any fear. What you see your enemies doing. Now, 
as they were in the sea. The sea was as if the, 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 the ship would capsize. Yes, it was a serious case. In fact, it came to the point that all hope that they would be saved had been lost. Then, at that point, Paul stood up to speak to the people that were in the ship. He said that, and now I exhort you to be of good cheer. For there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the sheep. Why am, why am I saying this? The Lord has sent me to tell you this. The God that made the ocean said I should tell you this. The God that made everything in the world, even that made Satan, the God that made the wind said, I shall come and tell you this. What is it? He said, For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve. Whose I am and whom I serve. My brethren, I feel joyful, I feel excited that I know that I am serving the living God. I feel blessed in myself. When I sit down, I say, God, you mean I am serving you, I am with you, I am doing your will, you're happy with me, whatever I ask you, you do it. This is wonderful, my creator. You mean wonderful this is a wonderful fellowship i am having with you i'm not imagining it anymore i'm assured of it i sit as if here you see i'm sitting beside him i'm so sure about it that is what paul is saying i'm talking about myself but i also saw it in the life of the paul of scripture he said whose i am i belong to him I belong to the living God. He has, he created me and he has brought me to himself. He created me, he has brought me to himself. I was a lost person, I have returned to my father. I sit with him, whose I am and whom I serve. I please him. I do his will. I live as he commands me. I do what he tells me to do. Then, if this is so, what am I to fear in this life? Is there anything I should be afraid of? No. Nothing. Because the creator God, who holds the heaven and the earth, who knows Satan and knows human beings, who knows the wicked man and me just their works? Who is the doer of all things? He is with me. He is the one I am serving. And he said, he gave Paul a message to the other people. Go and tell them, Paul, I am the one taking you to Caesar. There are many things you are going to do for me. You have not finished yet. So, don't mind what Satan is doing now. Not, uh, nothing shall happen to you. So, Paul now said to the people, fear not. Because he said, it is the God I'm serving. The angel said unto me, fear not. Paul, thou must be brought before Caesar. And lo, God had given thee all them that sell with thee. Ah, almighty God, this is a wonderful thing. Eh? Were they all born again? But God, for Paul's sake, 
because they came around Paul, none of them will die. I say none of them will die. This is wonderful. The privilege of being around the true man of God. The reward is very great. Come, the thieves that were crucified with Jesus. Did anyone die before Jesus? Did any one of them die before Jesus? No. Because they were in the place where life was. And as long as life was around them, nobody would die. Until when Jesus died, before they came to kill them. It's then they died. You were in the place of light. You were in the place of truth. Where you are being taught the truth. That's what God is saying. Go and assure them that I say, I'm going to care for them. I'm going to protect them. I'm going to keep them. Sinners, get repented. Turn away from your sins. Come and join this work well. Serve Jesus. Belong to him. And let him lay his hand, his good hand upon your life. Stop your evil things, evil doings. Come along with us so that you will enjoy this because as long as you are in the presence of God, divine protection is your own. Divine deliverance is your own. So, he now said, we are for us, be of good cheer, for I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me. What I am saying to you, just believe. This year, 2021, no evil Amen. shall come on your life. Amen. This year, 2021, is a year in which whatever delayed you in life will be removed from the way. Yeah. It's a year in which there is going to be change. Not the APC change, but this one is the divine change that is removing you from Egypt to a promised land flowing with milk and honey. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Believe God. That's what the Lord wants from you. Don't doubt him. Is it me too? Yes, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. All those forces, spirit, spiritual powers, resisting you. Now the Lord has given you a promise. Amen. I've come for you. Amen. You're going now. I will meet you on the way. I've appointed a time next year. You will not hear that voice again. I've appointed a time next year. You will not hear that noise again. I've appointed a time for you next year. All those things shall vanish from your life. Praise the Lord. 2021. Be happy about it. In the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 45. Luke, chapter 1, verse 45. The Bible tells us, and blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Blessed is she that believed. Who was speaking? Elizabeth. Speaking to who? Mary. What did Mary believe about? That she was going to give birth to a great child. She was going to give birth to a great child. A, a, the promise of God came to her. But how? I do not know a man. I've not met with a man. I'm not meeting with a man. I've not legally married, so I've kept myself clean and pure. Don't worry. That child that is coming is of the Holy Ghost. He shall be called the Son of God. Huh? It's God that has chosen to do this for you. It's God that has chosen to do this blessing on your life. 
Then Mary said, Behold the handmaid of God. Let it be unto me according to thy will. That's why Elizabeth, when Mary said that, it happened to her. She conceived. Maybe she didn't even know that she had conceived. Or she would have known. But whichever way, she went to visit Elizabeth. And immediately she came. She saw the child in the stomach of Elizabeth shook in joy. And Elizabeth saw it by inspiration, by spiritual impartation, that this is an exalted woman. Something has happened to her life. Some good thing has come upon her life. Yes. The Holy Ghost communicated. It is Jesus that is in her womb. And he said, Blessed art thou among women. Blessed you are, is she that believed. When the Lord said that thing, you believed. That is where there is a performance. And you will see it. For the Lord shall perform it exactly. Oh, blessed God. Lord, you, I believe you. you. I believe what God is saying. God is going to single somebody here and touch him with divine touch. You are the one. I say you are the one. Something divine is coming upon you in 2021. 2021, you will be exalted. 2021, you will be promoted. 2021, people shall see the glory of the Lord. They shall see the change of God upon your life. Hallelujah! All you need, I didn't say you should go and be hitting your head upon the wall. No, I didn't say you should be rolling on the ground. Just believe. Just and there shall be a performance. That is what God wants. And two, take it to prayer. David said, Lord, it's because you told me. That is why I am praying about it. It's because you told me that you will do this, you will do this, you will do this. That is why I am asking now. Do, do according to what you have promised you will do ezekiel chapter 36 ezekiel chapter 36 the lord is telling you take the matter to god in prayer in verse 37 ezekiel 36 verse 37 don't see it the lord god I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. I've told you all the time, bring your case before God. If you are traveling, commit your journey to the Lord. If you are going to the village, commit your journey to the Lord. If you are going to where? Going to school, if you are flying by air, by sea, by road, by whichever means. You're going to any occasion, anywhere. You're, you may eat there, you may drink there. Commit your way unto the Lord. Just pray to him. Ask him. You say, Lord, you will protect me. Remember. You said, Lord, you will deliver me. Just tell God about the of life. Whatever threat the enemy brings on your way, always be telling God, that's your job. That's your work. That's what God expects of you. Be telling him, Lord, remember you said. Remember you said. Remember you said. Remember you promise. Remember you promise. That's what God wants of you. Then he will do it for you. As he has said, you have believed, that's why you're praying. You have believed, that's what you're, you're praying for. 
you believe it that what God said he will do that's where you're going if you're traveling in the night tell God about it what if the end if you're going to where you will see your enemies tell God what you desire protection so yes you keep on doing this that's your job 2021 you will give yourself to prayer you'll be telling God about everything in everything by prayer and supplication, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God that passeth all understanding shall keep your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. The Lord is assuring you, if you learn to pray, to be talking to him about what you desire, his divine protection, his divine deliverance, it is going to be your own. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Now, righteousness. 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 Righteousness means living well. Living according to the way of God. Living according to the will of God. Obeying the word of God. Loving one another. Being obedient. Women, obedient to your husbands. Husbands, love to your wife. Don't ill treat your wife. Children, obedience to your parents. Yes, church, living in love and submission. This is very vital. Look at it in the book of um, Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 4. Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 4 to verse 6. Righteousness. It's, it, it gives great deliverance. Righteousness gives great deliverance. Riches. Profit not in the day of wrath. What does that mean? When some people become angry against you, not to say, some people become, become angry against you, your money may not pacify them. There are some of these assassins that go to kill someone and the person says, what do you want? I will give you this money. They say, no, it's not money we came for. It's not money. We came for your life. It's not money. You cannot carry money and buy life with it. No. When your day can bye bye, riches cannot deliver you from dead. No, it cannot. But it says righteousness delivered from dead. Righteousness. Deliver it from dead. Do you know when you are righteous, poison cannot walk on you? Have you known about that? I was preaching somewhere in another country. Something hit me at the back, babe, like this. I knew something hit me, but what is that? Is it a fly? Is it what? But it seemed to be more than a fly. Altogether, let's go. I was preaching as I'm preaching now. Then afterward, I told the people that something, as I was preaching, something hit me. So, oh, they shot you. Eh? So they shot me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It meant nothing. Because righteousness delivers from dead. Go and live a righteous life. They will try and they will not, it will not work. They will plan and it will not work. They will meet together in confederacy, but it shall not work out anything. Because righteousness delivers from death. Do you know what is righteousness? It means clean the environment. Clear the bush. Clear everything away from your house. How will fire burn? Can somebody throw fire there and it will burn? Who will see that will hurt you? When ye are followers of those things that are good, 
when you are doing well that's what God is saying say to the righteous it shall be well with him yes I'm talking to you righteous man righteous woman my God says I should come and tell you that as you continue in your righteousness you will enter this year freely you will enter this year happily you will enter this year joyfully because why nothing shall happen to you Satan said is job fearing God for naught is there no reward for this keeping yourself from immorality keeping yourself from telling lies keeping yourself from this dirty game keeping yourself from fraudulent business no reward great reward great reward righteousness delivered from death let me tell a story I had it's a story that I had that the Boko Haram in Maiduguri, when it began, when they began their thing, got some Christian boys. And one of the boys was, was a righteous boy. He was righteous. He feared God. He loved God. He believed in God. So they gathered all of them into their coven. And then uh, started interviewing them. Are you ready to deny Jesus? Yes. Confess Muhammad. Okay. Deny? Yes. Confess Muhammad. Deny. And then they came to this boy. Will you deny Jesus? He says, No. I'm for Jesus. For dead or for life. I belong to Jesus. He stood on his faith in God and declared his righteousness and the Bible says righteousness does what delivers from dead and they mean to kill them so all denied except him then the the captain of those uh, the Boko Haram came and said to his boys all these ones that denied Jesus, they are the ones you will kill. As for this boy, he will not kill him. You will set him free. The ones that denied Jesus, even if you bring them to Islam, after some time they will also deny Islam. And this one that stood for his God, if you kill him, you have trouble. Praise the Lord. If you kill him, it will let him be trouble. His God will fight for him. In the face of death, he still stands for God. I pray you will be like that. Amen. Then you will see prosperity will come in your life. You will see blessing will come in your life. The evil you think will come will not come. You don't need to tell lies. Tell the truth. Even if you did evil, say you did evil. That truth will deliver you righteousness delivers from dead woman righteousness will deliver you from the wrath of your husband don't hide it say it as it is do the restitution as it is man in your walking place do just live righteously speak the truth as you know stand by it you will see there is great reward great reward in Jesus mighty name Amen. be righteous be righteous verse 5 the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way the righteousness he is fully given to righteousness he does not want to do evil that righteousness shall guide him shall lead him lead him away from evil lead him to good to blessings of life that righteousness yes and in verse 6 the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them so when god is promising righteousness deliverance he means 
you shall come to his righteousness. Come and obey him. Come and serve him. When the Lord is saying, I will protect you, come and serve the Lord. Come and believe in Christ. Come and follow him. Then you will see his divine protection on your way. Yes, fellowship. Be among the people of God. You're welcome here. Maybe you have not come here before. This is holiness revival movement worldwide. Non-denominational assembly. You, have, you might not have come here before. And today you are here. You are welcome. If you continue with us, it shall be well with your life. Look at what uh, David said to Abiata in the book of First Samuel chapter 22 verse 20 to 23 First Samuel chapter 22 verse 20 to 23 and one of the sons of Abimelech the son of Ahitu named Abiata escaped and fled after David. And Abiata showed David that Saul had slain the Lord's priests. And David said unto Abiata, I knew it that day when Doeg the Edomite was there, that he would surely tell Saul, I have occasioned the death of all the persons of thy father's house. Abide thou with me. Fear not, for he that seeketh my life, seeketh thy life, but with me thou shalt be in safeguard. Abiata ran to David and said, Hey, Saul is, has cleared all the priests of the Lord. I have run out because he also was a priest. I am left. I've run away now. So I have come to trust you. David said, yes, we have a common enemy. Saul, he's seeking, he's seeking to kill you. He's the one also seeking to kill me. Come and stay with me. If you remain with me, I know how to escape. And as I am going, you will be going with me. And you will escape. You will escape. Listen, there are troubles in this life. There are difficulties in this life. And as I said, if you want to escape, you're welcome. Stay here. Go with us. We shall teach you the word of God. We shall pray for your life. And the same devil we are, we are facing, same wicked society, if you will come here, Join Holy List Revival Movement and listen to the teaching of God's word that we shall be giving you from this place. We'll be opening scriptures, teaching you. We'll be praying for you. You will be delivered from the devil. You will be set free from the devil. The protection we are receiving from God, you will receive it also. As he has promised us protection, come 2021, in various ways, you will receive it also in Jesus' name. Yes, that is what we need to understand. Keep on believing God, who has promised protection and deliverance. Now, I will speak to you on coronavirus. Everybody say coronavirus. Say it again. Say it the third time. This name was not known at the beginning of 2020. It became a dominating name from uh, from March. To this time and they want it to enter into the new year and they are promising that 
it will do worse in the new year. But I have told you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you God will do for you? What did I say God said I should come and tell you? Thank you. The Lord will deliver you. The Lord will protect you. In Jesus name. The Lord does not do anything but will tell his servant the prophet. When coronavirus came into the society, to the world, he spoke it. He spoke to us through his servant, the prophet. Amen? Look at it in the book of Amos. Amos, we read chapter 3, verse 7. Amos chapter 3, Verse 7. The scripture says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. He revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. You will notice that March this year, this, the revelation concerning coronavirus was given to us. And we got it clearly in Holiness Revival Movement. Were you here? Did you hear it? The revelation came on the 19th of March 2020 on the 19th of March 2020 the Lord revealed to our beloved mom Linda our details about corona virus and we published it this came up before we heard of any other person. Amen? And it was so clear when this revelation came from the Lord, the Lord set it clear. Yes. And he gave the reason why the coronavirus came into the world. He said, this is the wrath of God on the earth. This is Corona. It is the wrath of God on humanity. That is what the Lord said it. And he said, it was coming upon sinners in the world. Yes. It is not for believers. So the Lord showed it very clearly. Very clearly. Again, the Bible says, the secret of the Lord is with the righteous. Why did God choose us to tell us this? He saw that we are committed to him. He saw that we were dedicated to him. And he chose to tell us this. Shall I hide from Abraham that which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great nation. And all that I have promised to do shall come upon Abraham. Abraham is, is, was righteous before God. And the Lord revealed to Abraham what he was going to do to Sodom. So, look at it in Psalm 25, verse 14. Psalm 25. I read verse 14. 
The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Because we fear God and walk with him in righteousness and holiness, the Lord always reveals things to us. He said, I will not hide from Abraham that which I do. Abraham is righteous. I will not hide from him. I'm going to Sodom to judge Sodom. I'm going to Sodom to destroy Sodom. So, the Lord did not hide from us that which he was about doing on earth. When he was sending coronavirus onto, uh, onto the world, he said it was a plague sent by himself and not Satan. Coronavirus, a plague sent by God himself and not Satan. Satan just wants to take glory because people are dying and will be going to hell. Sinners will be dying. And he said, it is sent to sinners to judge sinners for their rebellion upon the earth. That is what the Lord revealed in prophecy. That is what the Lord revealed unto us. He said, it was not sent for the righteous. He said, it was not sent for the righteous. The righteous would be protected. Amen? Yeah. Look at it in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 9, verse 20 and 21. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 9. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yeah, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. It was God's wisdom to increase righteousness, to make people fear God. You saw how in many nations, many turned to the Lord. Did you see it? Yes, many were calling upon God who never called upon him before. Only God knew how many people came to him all over the world. Because when your judgment is upon the earth, the people will learn righteousness. That was why he brought down coronavirus as one of end time signs upon the earth. And in verse 20, 20 to 21, for the righteous, open your Bible to 20 to 21 to uh, Isaiah 26, verse 20 to 21. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpowered. That is what the Lord told the righteous. Righteous, you are under my covering. You are under my protection. I have spread my wings like the mother hen. Little one, come in quickly. I, 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 I come in and hide yourself. I have seen a kite in the sky looking around here, but none of my children will be affected. I have opened the wind. And all you children, hide yourself there a while until the kite has flown away. That is us, the righteous, concerning coronavirus. He said, it's not for us. Everybody says, coronavirus is not for me. God says, it is not for me. So, we are hidden in God. That's what God says, I should tell you, your protection is secure. 
whatever corona comes where, whatever the nation, whatever play, whatever it is, it is doing. Maybe they say this corona, this one coming now, it has two horns. It shall not come near you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. The Lord says, in time to 20 and 2021, you will go. You won't see corona on your life. I know whom I have sent it for. That's what the Lord is saying. He know whom he's sending it to. And in verse 21, for behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Yes. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover, the, cover her slain. The Lord is punishing the inhabitants of the earth because of their sin and wickedness. Man is sinning. Man is doing wickedness. Look at a church like this. That the Lord raised up to bring light and salvation to the world. To mankind. And people are really repenting and rejoicing. And you will see some people group themselves. We will pull down holiness movement. We will pull it down. We will pull down the international director. We will pull down his wife. Are they in their senses? Man is wicked. Man is evil. He said, I am coming to punish the inhabitants of the earth. For their own iniquity. So that's why Corona came. That's what the Lord told us clearly. Yes. Yes. So we are to hide under the Lord. He said he will protect us under his wings shall thou trust. Look at it in Psalm 91. Psalm 91. I read from verse 1. The Bible tells us saying. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for corona. Thou shalt not be afraid. Yes, of terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noon day. You are not to be afraid. The Lord said, I should tell you, don't be afraid of these things. Yeah. Even if here yeah, another one has broken up, don't be afraid of these things. Yeah. Yes, and he said, a thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. It is for the wicked. It is not for the righteous. It is for the wicked. It is not for the righteous. It is calculated calculated and the wicked are targeted from heaven the grenade that is coming from heaven targets a person it, they are targeted so it's not careless don't the man in your left hand side can pick it but you will not pick it the one in the right hand side can pick it but you will not pick it the one in your front can pick it but you will not pick it the one at your back shall pick it but you will not pick it only tell your husband not to be wicked. Otherwise, he will pick it and you will not pick it. Only tell your wife not to be wicked. Otherwise, she will pick it and you will not pick it. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord is saying. So, there should be no fear at all. No, not at all. The king of Egypt said to Josiah, 
I am not sent to you. The Lord has sent me to another person. It's not you. Look at it in Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles 35, verse 20 to verse 25. After all this, when Josiah had prepared the temple, Nico, king of Egypt, came up to fight against Kakimish by Euphrates. And Josiah went out against him. But he sent ambassadors to him, saying, What have I to do with thee, thou king of Judah? I come not against thee this day, but against the house wherewith I have war. For God commanded me to make haste, forbear thee from meddling with God, who is with me, that he destroyed thee not. I didn't come to you. God didn't send me to you. I, God has sent me to Kakimish. I should go and deal with them because they have rebelled against him. Josiah, don't meddle yourself in this matter. Nevertheless, Josiah would not turn his face from him. But disguise himself that he might fight with him and hacking not unto the weights of Nico from the mouth of God and came to fight in the valley of Megiddo. And the Akas shook at King Josiah. And the king said to his servants, Have me away, for I am so wounded. His servants therefore took him out of the chariot and put him in the second chariot that he had. And they brought him to Jerusalem and he died. Why? What happened to you, Josiah? This thing is not for you. It is not for the righteous. You are middling with it. When you righteous go to sin, you are drawing coronavirus. You are attracting coronavirus. Where did you go to sin? You are a righteous person. Where did you go for immorality? You are a righteous person. Where did you go after dirty money and begin to tell lies? You are a righteous person. Where did you go after all this dirty thing, witchcraft and all this... Why did you go about looking for charm? You are a righteous person. Why did you go again after drunkenness? That's why you are contracting coronavirus. The Lord has said this is not for the righteous. Why did you not remain in righteousness? Why did you go into sin? If as we enter now, whatever they say about coronavirus, please, it is not for you. Remain with God. Remain in righteousness. Remain in the truth. You will not see coronavirus. I say you will not see coronavirus. If by accident, hey, they say, oh, it's coronavirus, it's going to go away. Because the Lord said, I will deliver you. I will deliver you. It will not land upon you. In Jesus' name. Yes. That's what you need to know. Very important. We really saw, because the Lord said, this thing will vanish by itself. Is that not what he said? He said it will vanish by itself, and it was vanishing by itself. We didn't know anything about coronavirus. We thought all things were okay. But until now, we are hearing that it has come. That is a second phase of coronavirus. <laughs> they call it second phase. And say this kind now is coming with uh, two horns. Is that? That this one is powerful. These ones. Then we are asking question. This thing has gone. It's dying. And we knew it was going because God says it shall go. But now that, but now that we see a second phase, is this still from God? Is this second phase coming from God? Because, of course, the battle against the enemies of the Jews in Shushan the palace, one day was not enough. They needed another day to deal with the enemy. Is this that God says one day, the, the one they have done, one phase is not enough. I need a second phase to deal with these sinners properly. Is it God or is it coming from Satan? Because of his gains. 
in coronavirus, many dying and going to hell. Church worship stopped. Could it now be that this second phase is coming from Satan? Is it the kingdom of Satan having great mean in the world, in nations of the world, that are behind this second phase to weaken Christianity in the world? Since it may, everybody, close your church, close your church, no worship, no worship. You want to silence Christianity? Could it be like that? Are they planning to silence this re Christian religion by way of coronavirus? When people don't go to church again, there shall be no revival. Or oh, why we are standing still? We are watching this thing. We are looking up to God. We are saying, God, where is this from? In this second phase of coronavirus, where is it coming from? We are interested. Is it from you, Father, or is it from Satan? We want to know, but we have a conviction. Hallelujah. In the book of Exodus, chapter 7, verse 8, to 13. We want, we, we have a conviction. Verse 8. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle for you, then thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take thy rod and cast it, bef cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh. And they did so as the Lord had commanded, commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, now the magicians of Egypt. They also did in like manner with their enchantments, for they cast down every man his rod, and they, became a, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. But Aaron's rod swallowed, swallowed up their rods. Amen. Now we are saying, if this second phase is still from our God, then let it face the sinners of the world and enemies of the church. Let it deal terribly with them. Let it pick those mighty sinners of various nations from the west, from the east, from the north, from the south, from the central, and Deal with them terribly. Let God remember enemies of righteousness, enemies of his church by coronavirus, by coronavirus, and smite them to the ground in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. If this come from him, but if it is of Satan, <laughs> then let the serpent of Aaron because the magicians when God says when God does the thing Satan will also want to do his own you get what I'm saying if this coronavirus is Satan that he wants to do his own like the magicians of Egypt something will happen it shall not continue it shall be swallowed up the rod of Aaron shall swallow it up. It shall swallow it up. It shall vanish. If this is the work of Satan now, who wants also to delay the work of God to affect the church of Christ because of any games using wicked people and their manipulation? They shall vanish as locusts. They shall vanish as locusts. 
the serpent of of Aaron shall swallow them up from the earth in Jesus name and corona shall not be 2021 is not a year of corona it's a year that they shall die they shall vanish if this come from God my brother we're waiting for 2021 we're moving it's a year we shall watch I say it's a year we shall watch and see coronavirus devastation on sinners or coronavirus disappear amen yes that's what we're saying if it is of satan if it is of satan then let god's children remain protected as he has said let the children of god everywhere be protected as we enter 2021 since god has promised us that it is a year of divine protection we shall be protected our houses shall be protected our wives shall be protected our husbands shall be protected our children shall be protected everyone christian the name of the lord shall be upon them the blood of jesus shall be upon them we shall be fully protected from coronavirus it shall never touch anybody in jesus name yes we are saying lord if if it is so oh lord divine divine god do your work let there be more repentance if it is coming from you oh lord then we want to see people change we want to see repentance national repentance community repentance tribal repentance church repentance religious repentance everyone shall turn to god because the lord shall punish the world they shall turn to god they shall run to god oh lord if this coronavirus is coming from you we shall notice great conversion great conversion and there shall be in fact it shall contribute to the end time revival the revival we're looking for shall come it means this 2021 we shall enter into revival it is we will just be gathering the spoil yes just gathering the spoil coronavirus shall finish evangelism we'll be gathering the people now we shall gather them i say we shall gather them in the name of jesus yes let the true church never be affected none of our churches none of our fellowships none of our true brethren or even christians of other churches Christians of other nations that are sincere with God, he shall not touch them. He shall not touch them. And the Lord shall be glorified upon the earth. If this corona is coming from God, he shall be glorified upon the earth. If it is of Satan, he shall be swallowed up. He shall be swallowed up. Not, you won't, not, the, the power of God will go into display. We're going to do this prayer now. Are you ready for prayer? Are you ready for prayer? Two things if it is of God we want to pray God more judgment more judgment pick up those sinners if they are not from God we command coronavirus 2021 disappear from the earth in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus rise up upon your feet in the name of Jesus by the power of God but as for children of God divine protection divine preservation the Lord has said it that he will keep us he will protect us that it shall not come upon us it shall not come near us open your mouth and be praying open your mouth and be praying open your mouth and be praying yes the word of god god's protection will be upon us his deliverance shall be ours his protection shall be ours yes that's what he has said come 2021 from everything every way we shall be protected lift up your voice tell the lord lift up your voice tell the lord mm. thank you father worship you god worship you god we are not afraid we are entering into the year victoriously. We are entering into the year victoriously. Never afraid. 
Because our God is with us. Our God is with us. Our God is with us. Only with our eyes we shall behold the reward of our enemies. How the Lord shall deal with them. How the Lord shall smite them with coronavirus. We shall hear it. We shall hear it. We shall hear it. Yes, enemies of the church. Sinners planning wickedness all over the world. The Lord shall smite them. But for us, the Lord said we should not be afraid. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. That's what he has said. Worship you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. We give glory to your name. We give worship to you because you are a God. Trustworthy. Protection, sure. Deliverance, sure. Yes. But our enemies, the Lord will smite them. Kai. When your judgment is upon the earth, the people learn righteousness. The people learn righteousness. When your judgment is upon the earth, the people learn righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord says we should not fear. Amen. I say Jesus says we should not fear. Never, never worry. Amen. The Lord says I should tell you. Never, never worry. Amen. The Lord says, I should tell you, never, never worry, amen. Hey, it shall be well. Oh, yes, thank you, Father. Thank you. I should tell you Never, never worry Amen I say Jesus says I should tell you Never, never worry Oh yes, thank you Father Thank you Lord Jesus We are in a new year. Hey! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. Hey! You are entering the new year. You are entering the new year. It shall be well. Mm. I say, oh, yes. Thank you, Father. It shall be well. Security. Security is our own. Divine security. Oh, I say, Jesus says, I should tell you. Never worry, yeah, I should trust him. I say, Jesus.
says you should not fear enter the year without fear the protection of the Lord is upon you the deliverance of the Lord is away on you everything shall be well the Lord says we should not fear happy 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 oh yeah thank you father thank you Lord Jesus thank you holy I believe believe amen tell him thank you father Beware. Ah, I believe all shall be well. It shall be well. I say, I believe all shall be well. I say, I believe all shall be well. Happy New Year! Amen. Amen. Hey. Amen. Thank you. Hey, hey. rejoice! Happy, happy, happy. Give a clap of free to Jesus. Give a clap of free to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe all shall be well. I say, I believe all shall be well. All shall be well. I say, I believe all shall be well. I say, I believe all shall be well. The Lord says, We should not fear. to the new year the Lord has brought us to the new year 
the Lord has brought us, brought us to the new year. Praise, praise the Lord. 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 Number what now? Number what now? Praise, praise the Lord. Now, you just need to clear your throat. Hallelujah. He has done so much for us. He has done so much for us. Are you ready? Hey. Praise the Lord. He has done so much for me. He has taken away my sorrow. Oh, glory, hallelujah. He is coming to take me home for me. Oh. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus did so much for you. He has taken away your sorrow. Oh, glory, hallelujah. He is coming to take you Security, security of God divine deliverance you are free no roadblock the Lord is clearing your roadblock in Jesus name raise up your hand before the Lord thank you and you will testify where you have been standing still by whatever power that power shall be removed the water of your life shall flow. Yes, I believe. I believe. You sent me with this word to your children and it is done. Yes. It is done. Yes. Let this word go into action right now. Yes. Right now. Yes. Right now. Yes. Anyone standing still anyone blocked by any means I say right now the deliverance of God should come upon your life in the name of Jesus I command a change you are in a new year this new year the Lord says I will change your condition I am praying almighty father let there be a change of condition you say you are taking them from affliction to, to the place of rest. Affliction, coming, whatever, to a land flowing with milk and honey. You're changing their condition. I command change. I command change. I decree change to come upon anyone here that is an unfavorable condition. Change by the power of God. Change. In the name of Jesus, let your family situation change. Let 
progressive change come upon your life. Let prosperous change come upon your life. Let victorious change come upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, the Lord will wipe away your tears. The Lord will wipe away your tears. Whatever power blocks you from progress, blocks you from marriage, blocks you from childbearing, blocks you from job, blocks your prosperity, blocks you from education, whatever it is, by the power of God, I get that to run out from your life. You are moving forward. The power to move forward. The Lord has promised it. It's coming upon your life now. The power to move forward. The Lord has promised it. Receive it now. Upon your family. Receive it now. Upon your business. Upon the work of your hand. In the name of Jesus. 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 Every plan calculated against you by the workers of iniquity enemies of your love of your life enemies of your house enemies of your family enemies of your work oh lord divine whatever decree i cancel that decree on your life yes even you arrested spiritually and taken somewhere and locked up there all these things they say ah, they lock up somebody i command now please even from the grave you are rising up anything buried shall explode in the name of jesus right now right now great deliverance receive great deliverance receive great deliverance Receive great deliverance. Let the Lord of heaven pour the great deliverance. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus name we pray. The Lord says so. Peace be unto you. It is done to the glory of the Lord. You are free. You are free. You are free. Hey, Divine Father, every bad habit that you don't want, God, break that power and loose you from that bad habit. By the power of God, hey, they say, hey, witchcraft tie this one. Today is your day. You have entered 2021. It is the year I was talking about. It has become a year of reality. Every form of bondage by man, by demon, even if you have been locked up in the witchcraft coven, whatever thing, every kind of bondage, since you have believed, I Break it now. Be loosed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, I can see freedom. You are loose. By the grace of God. The Lord says all. Every power of sin. That has bound you. Immoral power. Drunkenness and smoking. Drug habit. What is that thing. That has bound you in sin. That you cannot be free. Power is here tonight. Power is here tonight. The power of witchcraft. That has bound you that you cannot be free. Oh, Creator, you are the God. Loose them now. Loose them now. Loose them now. In the name of Jesus. Loose them now. In the name of Jesus. Loose them now. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Loose them now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. You will do what you want to do to serve the Lord. You will serve the Lord. I say you will serve the Lord. Yes. You have been a sinner. Serious one. Today, you have believed in Jesus. Walk forward here quickly. Walk forward. You are a serious sinner. Today, you have believed in Jesus. This is wonderful. And as you believe, it shall happen to you. The power of God is breaking your yokes. Come forward quickly. Come forward. Sinners, you want to give your life to Jesus. I'm talking to serious sinners. They know themselves. And no sin is too small. You know yourself. You're under bondage. The Lord will break the power and make you a saint. Come forward quickly. I'm looking for you. God is the one calling you. God is the one calling you. He's going to release his power upon you today. He's going to manifest his power over your life. Power must come. Power from above. Hallelujah. When we call on Jesus, power must come. Oh, yes. We're waiting for you. Power is coming up on your life. Power must come, power from above. Hallelujah, when we call on Jesus, power must come. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Power is coming upon your life to set you free. Come forward quickly. Jesus, power must come, power must come, power from the Lord, hallelujah, when we call on Jesus, power must come, oh yeah. Oh yes. We're waiting, we're waiting, remaining you, remaining you. Well, come on, Jesus, power must come. Power must come. Power from the Lord. Hallelujah, we, we call on Jesus. Power must come. Amen. Power. Power plus power. Power plus power. Power must come, power from the Lord. Hallelujah, we, we call on Jesus. Power must come, oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. In Jesus name we are in his power. Now, you who have come, you are welcome. Tell Jesus you are sorry for your sins. Tell Jesus to forgive you. All those fake power, you don't want them again. You want to live a new life. You have suffered affliction. You were tormented in 2020. You want to enter a new year. Where must you die? Where must 2021 be your end? Tell Jesus to forgive you. Tell him all those fake power, you are not for them anymore. You are not for them. You are for Jesus. You are for Jesus. You are for Jesus. 
You are for Jesus. To the glory of God. The Lord will save you. The Lord will save you. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Open your mouth and say Lord Jesus. I am a sinner. Deceived by Satan. And Satan wants to take me to hellfire. But Jesus, you brought me here because you love me. I have heard your word. I want to surrender. I surrender to you. Jesus, I surrender to you. I give my life to you, Jesus. Come into my life. Change me. Lord Jesus, change me. Lord Jesus, change me. Lord Jesus, change me. Give me your spirit. I want to be a Christian. A true Christian. I want to serve you. I want to work for you. Lord, keep me. Keep me. Keep me. I don't want Satan in my life. Satan is a bad person. Wicked. Evil. Damnable person. I don't want him. Take me fully. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power in Jesus. There is power in the blood. You can stand up. I say there is power in Jesus. There is power in the blood. We're going to pray for you now. Blood of Jesus. Jesus power. I say Jesus power. Jesus power. Holy Ghost power, Holy Ghost power. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, I claim the lives of these people by power, by power. In Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Oh Lord divine let there be transformation. Amen. In their lives. Amen. Let them become Christians. Amen. By the power of Jesus. Amen. Break every power of darkness in their lives. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I set into fire. Every property of Satan. Amen. I set into fire. Every power of Satan. Amen. I say get out from their lives. Amen. I rebuke you out of their lives. Amen. By the power of Jesus. Amen. Therefore Jesus. Amen. Disappear from their lives. Amen. Disappear from their lives. Oh Lord destroy. The investment of Satan. In their lives. Amen. Whatever is in them. In their body. In their teeth, in any part of their body, disappear from there. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let your power take over their life. Amen. Yes, let them be Christians. Amen. Whatever binds them, we lose it now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We know that there's some of you that have gone into the realm of power and we have to deal with you personally. We have to take time to clear those things and the property you gather, you swallow and all these things, all the marine spirit, spirits of witchcraft that the devil has put on you to destroy you, we are going to set you free. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So we are going to uh, book time with you for this. If it, this night is too small, and we will be dealing with you one by one. So uh, after immediately after this program, you will need to come and sit in the front. There. Okay, sit in the choir. Sit here so that we can write your names and know how to get at you, your name and your number, and know how to get at you to make sure your, your name enters heaven. Whatever Satan wants to do to destroy you, it's, it's too late for him. Amen. Say, it's too, late. it's too late. You have come to Jesus already. I have come to Jesus already. Say it. Amen. What other need do you have? Another prayer is coming on your way. What do you want? Now I have assured you of divine protection and the deliverance of God. But then you have something you want God to do. Stand up upon your feet and tell him. Tell God what you want. Ask and it shall be given you. Ask for 2021. What do you want? Ask. It shall be given you. Ask. Ask. We shall agree together. Children for the barren, school for those looking for um, uh, um, uh, admission, job for the unemployed, business open door, healing for the sick, journeys, money. What do you want? Marriage. Peace in the home. Prayer for, ch for conversion of children. What do you want? Favor from somebody? I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. I say, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. Can you raise up your hand? I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. I say, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Now, I'm praying for you. Have you gotten something you say, God, do for me? Have you asked him? Yes. Have you asked him? Yes. Thank you. Believe. These are your children. Devour, and they have met requests, each according to his need, or each devour. You know it. You know their needs. I am praying. Show mercy. Amen. Come to the help. Amen. Visit the widow. Amen. Answer the fatherless. Amen. In Jesus' name. Visit the afflicted. Yeah. Oh my father. Lord. The sick ones. Need your healing. Release it. Receive. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. In Jesus name we pray. God do it. Do it and let them be free. Hallelujah.
Those that demons have been disturbing them. Lord, I cast out those demons. I buy those demons. Get out from their lives. By the power of God. In Jesus name. Remember the unmarried. Looking for someone to marry. Father. Comfort their hearts. Answer them. Those that are looking for children. Oh God. Do the miracles in their lives. In Jesus name. Those looking for job. Father. Fix them. Give them favor. Give them intelligence that they can create job for themselves. Thank you, Father. I bless your name and worship. Whatever desire, O oh Lord, that they have, that they wish of you, answer them. Answer them. That specific desire I have presented it to God, go in peace. 2021, you will see wonders. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Father. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, Contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe
Jesus, I believe in you. 
Say.